coach Dusan Djordjevic hasn't been in position for long, having taken over during the summer, but he started his tenure with a win last month and hopes this group of players can return Serbia to the finals in 2025 after missing out on the last two. I guess he'd probably settle for a point, wouldn't he, Clive? I think he would, Simon, but for all of these young Serbian players to come into a Premier League stadium, they will know so much about the Premier League, I'm sure have ambitions of one day playing it, and uh, a great opportunity for them this evening. Good technicians probably will be England's toughest test in this group. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Mihailo Ilic, a central defender, wants to keep an eye on, wearing number three tonight. He scored both goals against uh, Azerbaijan last week. And also Marco Lazatic, a 19-year-old, on loan at Fortuna Sittard from AC Milan. Well, this is how the uh, the group table in Group F looks at the moment. England leading the way after their opening fixture, that 3-0 win away to Luxembourg. The European champions facing challengers Serbia tonight, second in the group, and then Ukraine away on Monday. Northern Ireland are up to fourth following today's win over Azerbaijan, but as you can see, they've played more matches than anybody else. Well... Much to look forward to tonight as international football returns to the city ground this evening and uh, everybody pays their respects to Trevor Francis and Francis Lee, who passed away during the summer. Trevor Francis, a uh, wonderful player, Francis Lee as well, such an integral integral figure at Manchester City, part of the very fabric of the club. And Trevor France is, of course, a European Cup winner at the City ground with Nottingham Forest. Yeah, greatly uh, remembered, I'm sure, Trevor playing for Birmingham City and Nottingham Forest in this part of the world. And the great Francis Lee playing for Manchester City derby, but also going on to actually be the chairman of Manchester City in his time. Two wonderful players. What about Lee Carsley, who we're looking at there? Um, his assistant, uh, Ashley Cole, sitting, he's just obscured at the moment. Ashley Cole uh, today announced as, as joining Wayne Rooney at Birmingham City in a new venture, but he will um, also still retain his uh, international commitments with England under 21. Absolutely, I think he, he, he obviously uh, assisted Lee Carsley in what was a magnificent uh, campaign. First time England had won the under 21 championships in 40 years. Lee Carsley added pressure, I have to say, as holders of this competition, but will be very confident with the talented group that he now works with in this campaign. Yeah, it's interesting, though, isn't it? You get a great group of players and, and, and you know, they lift a trophy like that, and then suddenly half of them have, have had to disappear. Yeah, I think that's uh, always, always the brief at this level, is that progression to move those players with experience through the under-21s into the senior squad, and that's exactly what England have done to great effect over the last few years. Yeah, the structure seems much better, doesn't it, now, Clive? When you look at it, we, you know, a lot of the players that, that won in the summer have had to move on, but the next crop coming through, many of them were under-19 European champions last year. Absolutely, and I think Gareth Southgate understands that better than anyone having experienced it at this level before moving on to the full national team coach. Well, it's England's first home match since lifting the European Championship trophy in the summer. Some of the faces have already changed, such as the cyclical cycle of under-21 football. But for England and these fans in Nottingham, it's the chance to celebrate success on the international stage. England's first Euro under-21 title in 39 years. Tonight, they face a Serbia team who have a, a rich history in the competition, winning as Yugoslavia in 1978 and three times finishing as runners-up. But they haven't qualified for the last two final tournaments and lost all three group stage matches on their last appearance in 2019.
England haven't conceded a goal for seven matches now, including all six at the finals in the summer. Let's take a look at the lineups. England make four changes from the Luxembourg game last time out, three of them at the back due to injuries with Bashir Humphreys, Charlie Cresswell and Jared Branthwaite coming into the side. Further forward, Jaden Philogene of Hull City makes his debut in preference to Sam Illing Jr, who drops to the bench. Cole Palmer captains the team and is one of only two starting tonight who did so in the Euro final against Spain. Goalkeeper James Trafford is the other. As for tonight's visitors, Serbia make three changes from last month's opening qualifier. Viktor Rogan comes in at right back as the defence is reshuffled. Mihailo Stevanovic of St Gallen makes his debut in midfield instead of Alexa Matic. And up front, there's a first appearance too for 19-year-old Marko Lazatic, who's on loan at Fortuna Sittard from AC Milan. Mihailo Ilic scored both goals in the 2-0 win over Azerbaijan. Stefan Mitrovic also played for the senior team in their Euro qualifier against Lithuania last month he has two full caps tonight's officials by the way are from Germany referee Sven Jablonski took charge of the UEFA European under 19 final this year between Portugal and Italy he was on fourth official duty for the Arsenal PSV game in the Champions League last month So, almost ready to go. Jared Branthwaite, one of those coming into the England team. He's having a good run with Everton at the start of the new season, having had invaluable experience, which included European football, with PSV Eindhoven on loan last month. Well, the players will now gather around the centre circle, and we will have a moment of reflection as we remember those and think of those who've lost their lives or been affected by the events of recent days in the Middle East. impeccably observed the uh, the city of Nottingham the city ground awaits this uh, famous stadium has hosted international football before not least at Euro 96 there the number nine for England Liam Delap leading the attack tonight yeah really looking forward to Liam leading the line he's a traditional type centre forward scored in the first game he's actually plying his trade in the championship at the moment but certainly is a, a real talent and a traditional type centre forward Hudeki coming off the right at Chelsea. I think that combination poses the real threat that England carry this evening. Yeah, Noni Madueki on the right-hand side for England. Uh, really keen to see Jaden Philogene as well on his uh, under-21 debut. He too is in the championship now with Hull, having made the move from Aston Villa just before the transfer deadline. Sven Jablonski makes one final check of his watch and England in the white shirts get us underway at the city ground in this 2025 under 21 Euro qualifier England against Serbia as the ball is played forward by Mitrovic Serbia looking to make a fast start but England already on the front foot that's uh, Hayden Hackney playing it away to the far side and Philogene chasing hard but Rogan there first well, an England group that is so full of confidence on the front foot. Interesting to see, obviously, with this fantastic defensive record that they had, how the three changes at the back will Im impact the team, but a bright start from England. Tony Madueki with a little layoff back out of the penalty area, kept 
collected initially by Cole Palmer. Here's Rico Lewis as England settle down and Charlie Cresswell gives James Trafford a first touch of the ball. Seven matches for England under 21s without conceding a goal in a row for James Trafford. Well, that, that is just uh, phenomenal at any level, but a, a, a group, a young group of players who will have great confidence in the way that they shape up defensively and have the ability on the counter in attacking phases of play. Oh, it's a lovely bit of play there, Clive, by uh, Cole Palmer and still, and he's found his way past half of Serbia's team there on the near side. Well, he felt the last touch was off the Serbian defender, but you can see the confidence flowing through the England captain. Wonderful balance and poise in the way that he could just drag it off of that left foot. Yeah, I think uh, he's a little bit unfortunate not to win the first corner of the game. Yeah, absolutely. We've spoken before the match about the uh, the amount of change that Lee Carsley, as, as England's head coach, will, will have to deal with. Just to let you know, from the team that started the final of the Euros in, in the summer against Spain, James Trafford, who has the ball now, and Cole Palmer, the captain, the only two starting tonight who started that final. Noni Madueki and Harvey Elliott came off the bench in the final. Charlie Cresswell and Jared Branthwaite were unused substitutes. So there's, uh, there's quite a high turnover, as there always is, of course. At yeah, the absolutely. I think that um, Lee, Lee Carsley will be under no illusions. He had a fabulous group that won this competition last time around. He knows he's got to start again, but with the confidence that a number of who were involved in that final at the end of the summer, they will bring, I think, a real belief and confidence to this group. Ball collected in midfield by Nikola Stankovic, away to Viktor Rogan, who wins the throw. You would think on paper, in terms of the group, that England against Serbia and the reverse fixture, they would be the, the toughest games for the for the favoured teams. Yeah, they? absolutely. I, w I think that uh, Djokovic, the coach, will be believing that his team can run England close in terms of qualifying from this group. That has to be his expectation and that would be what they'll be looking to do. He knows this is the most difficult game that they should face in this group. Yeah, quick look at Dusan Djordjevic there, who took over in, in June, several seasons of managerial experience in Serbia. Trafford there, challenged by Marko Lazatic. Well, Little over enthusiastically. Yeah, he lays down in the challenge on Trafford, but he just he just delayed it a fraction to give him the, the incentive to come and try to pinch it from him. Did, did Trafford. Forward towards Philogene. Lovely turn away from Rogan. Jaden Philogene looking sharp, looking bright, gets the deflection and very nearly the opening goal of the match, four minutes into his under-21 debut. Well, what an early contribution from Philogene. The, the touch control, he turns inside and then when he checks, expecting him to pass it, just drops his shoulder back onto his right side. Wicked deflection, look to be taking it over the keeper. That's a fine save from Illich to tip it over. Yeah, Velko Illic with a super stop there. He plays his football for uh, Bachka Topola. They're involved in European football this season. As Cole Palmer takes this corner for England and the header goes wide from Charlie Cresswell. It looked like a great chance. Well, that is a quite incredible delivery from the England captain, Palmer, and he should have been headed out on target. I don't think you can quite believe that he's missed the target. Arrives in the six-yard box, powers the header, but powers it a yard wide. What an opportunity for England to take the lead. Oh, it was a glorious chance. For Charlie Cresswell, the Leeds United defender, winning his 13th cap. Uh, one of the more experienced players at uh, this level for England. Well, he'll have no easier chance to score for the under-21s than that one, Simon. It's a good, bright start to the game. Oh, there'll be a free kick there, and the referee will... That's Lazatic again, yeah, that's who a... had a little nip at uh, Trafford a couple of minutes ago. Absolutely, and the referee just said exactly that, Simon. That's the second time you've made that challenge in that manner and that is late that is dangerous and he picks up a yellow it's uh, certainly giving Jared Branthwaite a look at his studs there wasn't he uh, 
Marko Lazatic goes into the book on his under-21 debut, 19 years of age, uh, Lazatic. You mentioned that he's uh, he's on the books at Milan, but he's on loan in the, the Eredivisie in the Netherlands with Fortuna Sittard. He's come off the bench for them three times in the league so far this season. Well, I'm sure a lot of ner nervous energy for Lazatic and the opportunity to play here this evening, but he has to be really careful now. That was nicely done by Trafford and collected here by Rico Lewis for England. Who's playing in that right back position, but as you can see, will go into the midfield to make the extra body as he does for his club, Manchester City, making that extra body in the midfield area. Really adept at, at playing in this way, Rico Lewis. Amazing, isn't it? I mean, he's a lot younger than most of the other players on the pitch, isn't he? At 18, and yet he's made 30 appearances for Manchester City's first team already. Well, the, the, when Pep Guardiola is singing your praises, you know he must be a, an unbelievable talent. He certainly is. Here he is again, from right back in that central midfield position. Yeah, he's looking for Madueki on the near side. Can't find a way past Mitar Ergalash, who in turn brings Vladimir Lucic into the game. Lucic wants the return pass from Lazatic. Nervous any energy from Lazatic you can see in these opening stages. Big, big, big night for him. Well, there's plenty of experience uh, littered around the dotted around the England team, isn't it? You mentioned Rico Lewis. You look at players like Harvey Elliott, who started for Liverpool at Brighton in the Premier League at the weekend. Madueke who's in possession. Brathwaite to name but three as a little return pass between. Lewis and Madueke doesn't quite work out. Cole Palmer looks in vain at the German referee for a free kick, which is not forthcoming. Here's Marco Lazatic, not for long. Lewis. Well, I think Lazatic, actually, Clive, has got to be very careful there. Absolutely. Having just had his name taken, because there was no attempt to play the ball. No, he actually kicked Rico Lewis. Yes, he's, he, you can see that there's, there's so much pent-up nervous energy but that is a silly challenge especially after you've just been booked for two two challenges not only a minute ago he really is walking a tightrope now he cannot afford to make one more silly misdemeanor the layoff by uh, Harvey Elliott in midfield back to Cresswell who missed that golden opportunity in the f first five minutes of the match Lewis we've seen plenty of the ball in the early stages and feeds it through and very nearly brings Madueki into the play but uh, Velko Ilic swiftly off his line he's been in good form at the start of the new season Ilic five clean sheets in a row in the Serbian Super League between early August and the middle of September and he started well this evening you can you can see there's a confidence and an air about the way he started his performance this evening against England under 21s yeah, he has an assured air about him. Uh, Mita Ergelash sending it forward. Lazatic wins it in the air. The touch on by Stevanovic. Possession lost by uh, Stankovic. England threatening and venturing forward. And the shot is not the strongest one in the world from Harvey Elliott. Well, the unfortunate thing was when that ball actually arrives at his feet, he swivels and it's on his unfavoured right side. You can see the left foot touch was beautiful. The right foot shot was very tame, but a real talent is Harvey Elliott. Good start, Simon. Two up, two very good opportunities. Cresswell's header, and then Harvey Elliott's strike. Yeah, and the uh, the early shot from Jaden Philogene as well, which was brilliantly saved. Bright start for England. The European champions on it for the third time in the, the summer, first time for a long time. And Hackney concedes the free kick, and he too gets a little bit of a ticking off from referee Jablonski. Yeah, it just felt that he was uh, over aggressive and too physical. Hayden Hackney in that central midfield position. Yeah, Hayden Hackney, who hasn't missed a minute in the championship so far this season for Middlesbrough, made his debut against Luxembourg last month. I've got to say, Simon, that is a difficult place to learn your trade, the championship. Games that are full on, many games back to back, but he's performing particularly well for Middlesbrough. The 
playing in the heart of the England midfield this evening. Lewis. Palmer finds his Chelsea club teammate Madueki and Madueki skips clear of his man looks for an opening and it's deflected stroke shanked over the top of the crossbar in the end by Mihailo Illich but Serbia's defence were opened up there and Ergolash just tried to grab hold of Madueki because there was no way that he was going to stop him in any other manner. Absolutely, just the way he received the ball and then skips past the defender. You see he's trying to pull him back. The shot goes in. I think it actually strikes Subotic, but it's uh it's Filagin on the left hand side that's offside as the, the uh, Mudeki shot is attempted. So it wouldn't have counted had it ended up in the back of the net. Promising early signs for Noni Madueki on the near side. Lazatic has done well there. This is Vladimir Lucic. And maybe an opportunity here. Ball rolled forward towards uh, Vazic. Rogan. Little room for manoeuvre and the flag up on the far side. Well, just a little sign, of, I feel, there that, that Serbia will, if they can regain possession high up the pitch, will quickly try to counter-attack. A little bit sloppy from England. And in the end, they, they have managed to smother it away. Aljoza uh, uh, Vazic getting in a, a good position here, pointed to where he wanted it, the ball played just a little too far forward, but positive contribution from Vazic nonetheless. Here's Madueki once more. It's going to be a long chase for Delap, and he's beaten to it by Luka Subotic. Yeah, Subotic tracks the run of Delap, they're trying to just feed that down the channel for a power run that certainly the physicality of Delap, I feel, could cause Serbia problems tonight. Lovely nutmeg there from Cole Palmer into Madueki. Already you can see the understanding between the two young Chelsea starlets. Palmer's delivery, a really good one. Here's Filigy. Delap in the middle, Madueki and Hackney getting in each other's way. Yeah, another wonderful delivery from Palmer on this right-hand side with that wand of a left foot that he has. This is a good-looking break here, and here's Vasic once more. Chased hard by Stefan Mitrovic. Trafford controlling the ball beautifully under pressure there. A fair old rate of knots back <laughs> to him. Absolutely, that was fizz back to him in That's the air, it. and he just brought it down nonchalantly. Superb first touch from the England keeper. I just like the freedom in which England play. You can see that there's a confidence, there's a belief in the way that they're going about the game, moving the ball forward, trying to trying to overload in that central midfield area. But then it's not slow progress, it's forward progress with forward passes. Delap's done well, but the pass is a little adventurous. And too far in front of Noni Madueki. Yeah, big diagonal. Good start from the captain, uh, Cole Palmer, though. Absolutely, and look at the left foot that he possesses. This is a lovely delivery in. The lap in the end just can't quite control it on the six-yard box. Got in a, a little bit of a, a, a muddle, England, when that ball was rolled back. Challenge made by uh, Cresswell. Lewis back into Branthwaite. Humphreys available over on the far side, but Harvey Elliott, beautiful close control, scintillating play from Harvey Elliott into Noni Madueki. This is absolutely superb from England. And the attack is still alive. Rico Lewis is calling for the ball, and finally Serbia get it away, but there was so much to enjoy from that passage of play. Absolutely sensational Harvey Elliott run weaving through a number of challenges. Mudueki gets to the byline, just can't get the cross in. But players are allowed to express themselves. So good to see. Back with uh, Charlie Cresswell. They've started one match for Leeds in the Championship this season, come off the bench in a few others.
13 appearances for the Leeds United first team for him so far. Madueki, Harvey Elliott on the near side. Lewis is further ahead of the Liverpool midfielder. Lovely exchange once more. Beautifully done. Now it's with Rico Lewis. And it's a point blank save from Illich. Well, Simon, that was a scintillating move from England. It really was. The way that they built up down the right-hand side, the Rico Lewis shot goes, a, a cross shot goes in. The keeper makes another very, very good stop. Well, some sensational play from England in the opening uh, 16 minutes of this game. And again, you know, not for the first time, you've got Noni Madueki heavily involved, but uh, Jaden Philogene as well coming in from the other side into the six-yard box. Just total confidence throwing, flowing throughout this England under-21 side. Sprayed forward by Hayden Hackney, flag up. Well, he's been impressive so far, hasn't he, uh, Belko Illich? Oh, some fine stops and none more so than the last one. Philogena arrived as this ball back hill there. Harvey Elliott pass, touched by Muduweki, cross from Lewis, and it just can't quite actually get the ball down. And the goalkeeper makes an instinctive stop, he really does. Well, that's uh, Jacob Philogen going close twice already in this match. But that's exactly what, what you want to see from the, the winger on the opposite side in which the play's being built up, that you arrive at that back post area when crosses come in. Lazatic. Knocked out by Victor Rogan. He went diving in. I think his own teammate ended up on the deck as well there after that challenge. Yeah, he certainly was determined to win possession of the ball. Trafford, calm under pressure. He's not a goalkeeper, is he, Trafford? Not the way he plays with the ball with his feet. Lewis. A timely slip there for Stevanovic. Bit of space on the near side. Vita Ergelas, busy old evening for him, trying try to hold... Noni Madueki at arm's length. The, the different positions that, that Lewis just pitches up in is just quite incredible. And if you're trying to play against him, it would be so difficult whether you go and mark him, mark the player that you're detailed to be with. Lewis calls in all sorts of problems. And Lewis now feeding it forward. Madueki once more. Delap in the middle and a miscue. Yeah, poor right foot cross from Madueki, but a brilliant pass to release him from Lewis again. Look at the way he just knows exactly where he is, plays it into the space. It's just a poor right foot cross. If it carries on like this, Clive, the action areas will be interesting, won't they, at half time? Because it's all coming down this one side. I think it's all coming down the right, yeah, absolutely, Simon. And it, it, a lot of it is instrumental from this young man, Rico Lewis. Here's Branthwaite. I think benefited so much from his, his uh, lone move to PSV last season. Time in possession here for Elliot. Liam Delap, Madueki. Ergelas just can't get anywhere near it. I'd be glad to see the ball heading in the other direction with Alyosha Vazic, but not for long. England have it back. Here's Hayden Hackney, and now Madueki once more, seeing so much of the ball in the opening 20 minutes. Lovely little touch. Very nearly a fine finish into the bottom corner. And you can just see the frustration. Mudueki does everything right. Starts by Hackney's brilliant interception. Then the interplay with him. He drives forward with the ball, feeds the winger wide, just keeps himself on side. Lovely little interplay here. And then the drop of the shoulders, fantastic. Just miskicks it. Miskicks the strike after what was another superb England move. That little drop of the shoulder to create the, the added space for himself was superb. Well, the hardest thing is to actually finish it off, and that's really what led him down. He just strikes with the left foot, but bangs it into the ground and pulls it slightly wider the target. Again, superb England build-up. Just the finishing at the moment is not as crisp as it could be. This is Branthwaite. Philogene, he's got uh, Bashir Humphreys in support on the far side. Philogene. Elliot with the return. 
And Finagine just beaten to it by Illich. There's a lovely variety and vim and vigour and fizz about the way England are moving the ball around. Absolutely. You saw Finagine there acknowledge the attempted pass by Harvey Elliott. He's attacking from that wide left position, but getting himself infield, getting himself into the 18-yard box, which is really good to see. Lay off and then attacks the space. Harvey Elliott just can't loop it into his path. But some wonderful, beautiful England play. Almost midway through the half. Oh, I think Lee Carsley standing in a technical will be absolutely delighted with the way that his team started, but disappointed that they haven't opened the scoring or even one or two strikes this evening. Vladimir Lucic sends it on, here's uh, Mitrovic. And Humphreys safely sees it out over on the far side. Vashay Humphreys, he's another one playing in the Championship in England at the moment in South Wales with Swansea. On loan from Chelsea, yet another one of the excellent young players coming out of Stamford Bridge. And also another one who's gained valuable experience abroad. The first half of the year was on loan at Paderborn. Well, even these talented youngsters don't always make their way at their, their home clubs. They have to go out, gain experience, and then return to force or try to force their way into the first teams. A rare opportunity here for Serbia to try to create something. Underneath the crossbar and very confidently taken by Trafford. Good handling, excellent, takes it at its high point and then sets England on their way. Elliot wants it on the near side, Madueki still going, Jaden Philogene collects, Delaps calling for it as well and sliding in to save the day there. Vladimir Lucic popping up on the right-hand side of their back line. Yeah, he really shouldn't be there, but luckily for Serbia he was. The two wingers, England wingers, end up on the left-hand side and once again asking questions of Serbia defensively, but they will be happy just to have conceded another corner. Cole Palmer, who's been starting to get into his stride with his new club Chelsea in recent matches, sends it over. It's not the best delivery we've seen from him this evening. No, a little too flat. It was flat and fast at that near post area, under hit. Here he is again. Wonderful first touch. Second one was pretty good too. Yeah, Roger trying to claim a goal kick, but just the way, the balance and the poise that Palmer has is quite breathtaking at times. Looks languid, but beautiful balance. Over it comes from Palmer, lovely flight on it. Branthwaite getting his head to the ball, but uh, a little wayward with the direction. And it's back out with Palmer once again, the England captain. Brilliant. Here's Lewis. Well, there's been some very, very impressive performances in this opening 24 minutes for England. Hackney in the heart of that midfield, Rico Lewis, Mudueki off the right, Carl Palmer the captain. There are so many positives for Lee Carsley. Elliot using the full width of the field before taking his place in the middle and hoping that Cole Palmer can pick him out. Lovely play from Palmer. Hackney away to Humphreys. Just a young group of England talent that are oozing confidence, they really are. Aidan Hackney sends it forward. Here's Elliot across. Delap stretching. And it's behind off Mita Ergelash. And Harvey Elliott, who's had a, a wonderful start as well. The way he receives the ball in the half turn, the awareness in between Serbian defenders, but fizzes the cross through. Ian Delap just a fraction away from getting his boots on it. Noni Madueki, Palmer nearby, here's Lewis. And Harvey Elliott with the shot. Yeah, just caught it slightly underneath him, Simon. Can't, can't actually strike it and keep it down. He's had to dig it out from underneath him as the ball pops back. Lewis cross, it comes back out to him. You can see 
just underneath him. He can't keep it down, has to almost chip it, and it ends up just creeping over the crossbar. Harvey Elliott, who came off the bench in the Euro final against Spain in the summer, last seven minutes of the game. Now, one would think, going into this qualification process, an integral member of the starting 11. He certainly looks it so far. It was good play, though, by Stankovic initially, collected by Vladimir Lucic. Vazic, could be a chance. It's a goal! Brilliant goal! Vladimir Lucic for Serbia! Well, that was unexpected. It was fabulous play from Serbia. The first time they've combined higher up the field. And as this ball comes back, this is a difficult execution from Lucic. And he side foots it into the top corner, giving Trafford absolutely no chance. You can see the euphoria amongst the Serbian squad. They can't quite believe it. England have dominated this opening half an hour, but find themselves behind. Well, this is one of their more experienced players, the 21-year-old who plays for Red Star. He's been in the Champions League this season. He came off the bench against Manchester City. He played the 90 on match day two against the young boys. And this is a superb finish. It really is the way he lets it run across his body. The side foot, right foot attempt that he just arrows into the top corner. That is superb. We talked about England's lack of finishing. Lucic has just given us an, an example of perfect, a perfect strike. Well, what a first half, what a first opening 27 and a half minutes it's been. So much to enjoy about the way England have played football, but then a goal of the highest quality from Serbia. Yeah, technically a fabulous constructed uh, move from Serbia that was finished brilliantly, it really was. We have a fabulous game on our hands. Yeah, we do, actually, as the ball is played forward towards Harvey Elliott, and it was a little too close to Jaden Philogene there. And what happens now, Simon, is England just might start to force the issue. Serbia have something to hang on to. They can make it very, very frustrating. England have to be very patient and continue in the same vein. They've created chances. I can only see them creating more. But I have to believe that the way that they're playing this game to carry on in the same way. Rico Lewis collecting for England. Surrounded but not dispossessed. And just venturing a little too far forward there was Madueki, the flag going up. Well, we shouldn't be entirely surprised by the, the technical skill we saw in the, the nature of the goal from Serbia. That part of Europe renowned for some very very good footballers over the years and we shouldn't forget that Serbia won the under 21 euros way back when it when it started really as a competition back in 1978 as Yugoslavia they are the sole direct descendants of the, the Yugoslavia team three time runners up as well 1990 2004 and 2007 they they haven't fared so well in recent years in fact they haven't qualified for the last two but uh, never underestimate the individual quality of some of the players from that part of Europe. Absolutely, I think over the years we've come to, to, to see some wonderfully te technically gifted players. To that chasing, and Velko Ilic. Well, there was only going to be one winner there. And he, is, he really has started the game well for his country, there's no doubt. He's been the star man for me. It was a sensational Luci finish, but... Ilic in that Serbian goal has been excellent. Yeah, two really good saves in particular from Filigin, and here he is now. Proving to be quite a handful, but Victor Rogan bided his time, then just got a bang on the back of the head there, inadvertently, from the boot of the English winger. Well, he fell over. It was accidental that he, he got caught on the side of the head, but he's OK, and he's up, and that's, that's good to see. Now with Lewis who likes to wander. Well, he pops up in so many interesting positions, you have to say. But a wonderful technician himself. Madueki sliding it through. Liam Delap will chase, he won't get there. When I say he likes to wander, I'm not suggesting through any sort of tactical 
ill-discipline and precisely the opposite, in fact. Absolutely, Simon. He's given licence to do that, to go into areas, to overload those areas, make the extra body, has the technical ability to keep the ball when he's when he's in those those different, you would say, different areas of the field. He's now in the centre circle. Is he a right back? Not not at this moment in time. He's a central midfield player. Aidan Hackney lays it off, and of course, who's there to collect it in the centre circle? Rico Lewis. Well, I think he run into Hackney, did Vasic. The referee stopped the play. England were building up. There certainly wasn't anything malicious. I think it was just a, a bump between Hackney and Vasic. This looks like a bit of an issue in the ribcage area, or is it his elbow? I'm not quite sure. I think it's his ribcage. Let's have a look here what happened. Oh, he got caught in the ribs by the elbow of Hayden Hackney, didn't he? Yeah, he's just holding him off. He, was, he didn't strike him, Simon, and Vasic. Can be painful, though. It can. Might well have been winded. So Alyosha Vasic received some treatment, and there Mita Ergilash, who's been very busy chasing shadows, the left-back with uh, Madueki causing all manner of difficulty, particularly in the, in the opening 15, 20 minutes or so. Yeah, there's been some wonderful interplay. Morgan Gibbs-White among the, the crowd looking on. Of course, he was such a, a key figure for England under-21s, wasn't he, Clive? And this is where he plies his trade these days, at the city ground in the Premier League. Yeah, and it's been absolutely fantastic for Nottingham Forest this season. Well, it does look as if uh, Josha Vazic will be OK. Uh, we'll be back on the field uh, shortly. Vazic, another one with uh, good international experience uh, in terms of his club football. He's with Palermo in Serie B in Italy. Came through at Padova. Hopefully he'll be back on the pitch any moment. Yeah, he's just coming on now. So... If you've just tuned in, you've missed a decent half hour or so of football. England have played some lovely stuff, but Serbia have scored a cracking goal. Yeah, it's been a very, very good contest. An opening 20 minutes in particular from England that was breathtaking, but they couldn't find a way to open the scoring. And then Serbia, with a moment of real quality, I have to say, took the lead with the most memorable Lucic, Lucic finish. This is Charlie Cresswell. Branthwaite alongside him. Humphreys on the far side on the halfway line. And Hackney dropping back the defensive midfielder. That was uh, Jaden Philogene as well. Coming a bit deep. Trafford loves got, to play with his feet. Yeah, I've got to say, I, I do love the rotation from this England side. Wingers who will come in field, fullbacks who will go into central midfield positions interchanging great freedom in the way that they're allowed to play philogene he's got uh, humphreys available on the far side hackney decides to bring it this way via cresswell towards madueki looking lively again interception falls at the feet of Jaden philogene trying to tiptoe his way through the Heart of Serbia's defence. Yeah, just couldn't get it out of his feet to find the opportunity to strike Filigin. Another delivery from Cole Palmer. Bang on the money again, right on Delap's head. Yeah, and he acknowledges the cross from Cole Palmer. Does Liam Delap corner one? Well, crowd trying to play their part. They're just trying to lift England again after the surprise goal that was conceded. Remember, Cresswell has had one really good opportunity with a header from a set play. Off it comes, and Madueki just really catch that. Not that it was necessarily an easy thing to do. I just thought he had time. He could have taken that down. Look at the space he's in. He had the opportunity to take a control before attempting the shot. Just hits him down that left shin in the end. Well, one by Cresswell, collected in midfield there by Vazic. 
Stankovic losing possession. Madueki now surging forward. Lovely little ball in. And a save again from Illich. And Madueki then can't get hold of the ball either. And Dilat with a great chance there, but denied again by Velko Illich, Serbia's goalkeeper. Luka Subotic is the defender down on the ground inside his own penalty area. Simon, he should have scored. This is a brilliant one from Mukadegi. And just as he slides that into Dilat's path, I think he's trying to lift it over the goalkeeper, but doesn't get the purchase to get it over the top of him. And, and Illich again makes a good stop, stays big and manages to stop the attempt from Delap. His big chance of the night so far. England passing up four glorious opportunities. Yeah, Delap with a goal against Luxembourg in the 3-0 win in the opening qualifier last month. Two goals and 11 appearances in the championship for Hull on loan so far this season. And a good opportunity for Lee Carsley's side to draw level has not been taken. Yeah, and that would be the great disappointment if they get to half-time without opening the score in England. Some fabulous play, good interchange, movement, passing and opportunities, but no goals to show for it. Yeah, that goal scored by Lucic, the first that England's under-21s have conceded in eight matches. First one since June against Japan's under-22s in a game shortly before the, uh, the Euro under-21 finals. Subotic is fine and finds his goalkeeper safely. He's given away by Illich. Now here's Jaden Filijin with a chance. 1 1. Big mistake by the goalkeeper. The first he's made tonight. And Jaden Filijin on his under 21 debut rifles it home. England 1, Serbia 1. Well, it is the first mistake that he's made. Illich cannot quite believe it. It really is a poor pass. But Filijin still had a lot to do. He showed poise, he showed real composure, and then a superb strike at the end of it. Exactly what England deserved in this after this first half performance. Poor clearance picked up now with a defender in front of him, takes the opportunity quite brilliantly. The way he moves the ball onto his right hand side opens up the angle and fires it brilliantly into the roof of the net. He's played really well, hasn't he, in this first half? He could have had a hat-trick, Simon, he really could, with the opportunities that, that have been there for him. Um, I would say the hardest of the chances he's taken brilliantly. So we're all square. With seven first-half minutes remaining, plus whatever our German referee, Sven Jablonski, decides to add. Well, it is nothing more than England deserved in the way that they've gone about this first half performance. That will just settle them as well to go behind in the manner that they did. But the response has been superb. Shame for Illich, though, he's blotted his copybook a bit, hasn't he, with that? Because he played exceptionally until that moment when he conceded possession, but uh, paid a very high price for it. And as you say, it wasn't uh, by any means a foregone conclusion that uh, England would score from it. But. Uh, Jaden Philogene certainly did in style. And now Harvey, Harvey Elliott goes from distance. Illich beats it away. And it doesn't fall at the feet of Cole Palmer, but it might easily have done so. Yeah, I just think the pressure's again mounting up on Serbia. Illich, it was a good height for him, the Harvey Elliott shot for him to parry away. But again, England created chance after chance. Just takes it out of his feet onto that favoured left foot. But at that height, you'd always expect the goalkeeper to get hands to it, which Illich did. Yeah, it's been a busy couple of minutes for the goalkeeper from Bacca Topola. Noni Madueki sends it forward and Cole Palmer venturing forward. Nicholas Stankovic has gone across to no avail. It's still Palmer and a very handy interception there by Stankovic. Yeah, he does well in the end, Stankovic, because it looked like as Cole Palmer drags that ball back, goes towards the byline, he's going to get into a really good crossing position. Well-timed tackle. Lewis back into Elliott. Here's Palmer. He's delivered some pinpoint balls into the box during this first half. Ball swept forward by Alyosha Vazic. Over on the far side, it's Vladimir Lucic. He's uh, played on both sides of the field in this first half. The little flick on by uh, 
Vazic as he tried to venture forward, but safely seen back to the keeper by Cresswell. Yeah, first time we've seen Vazic leave that central midfield position was the most advanced of the Serbian players, couldn't drag it past Humphreys. Well, we're in the last five minutes of the first half. A breathtaking first half, I have to say. Yes. Thoroughly enjoyable, entertaining, and some play of the highest quality. Here's Harvey Elliott of uh, Liverpool sending it forward. Philogene, the England goal scorer, into Rico Lewis. And Lewis is still going, evading Mihailo Stevanovic. Lovely, easy, measured control there from Noni Madueke. Into Lewis. Sheer weight of numbers, Serbia's defence got the ball away. Lovely little quick-footed pass from Rico Lewis, Noni Madueke, into Cole Palmer, good save by Illich, here's Philogene once more, it's 2-1 England, and this time Liam Delap finds the back of the net. Well, wonderful perseverance for England, some quality play, a brilliant Madueke back heel, which gave Cole Palmer the first opportunity. His side foot was tamed, the goalkeeper parried it, England kept it alive. Villagine does really well to turn it back into the six-yard box for Delap to smash it home. He wasn't going to pass up this opportunity. And Illich now conceded two. Could have been far more. And a breathtaking first half from England under-21s. Thoroughly deserved the lead. There's the back hill. The tame side foot, but Villagine superb in the way he keeps it alive. And then Delap just fires it into the roof of the net. Yeah, he wasn't about to pass up a second golden opportunity in the space of a few minutes. No, but some, again, really scintillating football from England and an emphatic finish from Delap. It's interesting with uh, Jaden Philogene, who scored England's first goal and was part of the build-up there with the, the second one, because Unai, he was, he was at Aston Villa until the end of the transfer windows, now with Hull City in the Championship. Unai Emery saying when Villa went on their pre-season tour in the summer to the United States that he was, in Emery's words, the big surprise in that he was excellent in those games. Emery, I think, uh, I'm sure, wanted to keep him around and have him in the squad and use him as and when, but clearly he wasn't going to be one of the starting 11 every week and uh, the player wanted to play. And I think so Villa have sold him, uh, but they do have, I think, an option on him should you know should he move on in future yeah I always think that's something that clubs try to protect themselves against here comes Serbia with uh, Lucic but it's interesting isn't it I mean he was clearly was a player who really impressed Unai Emery at Villa who he wanted to bring him on but the player you know he's at a point in his career where he really wants to just develop through playing he has to play and players of disability need to play they need to progress their their careers not quickly but certainly with the experience they there might well be a lack of it if you're in a Premier League squad where you're not playing enough and finding enough minutes you need to go out the championship is a really hard place to learn your trade but Philogene looks to be a really big prospect now it's with uh, Dilap the confidence will be flowing through his veins a little bit he and Noni Madueki Unable to carry it deep into uh, Serbia's half of the field. It's with uh, Stefan Mitrovic. He just tries to move it away from the traffic a little bit, create a little bit of space. And Mihailo Ilic away to the far side, and Viktor Rogan pass a bit short. Hayden Hackney tried to get in there, but that was well played by Mihailo Stevanovic. And Serbia looking for a, a big finish to this first half at 2 1 down. The match has turned around in the latter stages of the opening 45. Yeah, I think you've got to say that they're trying to respond. They're finding it very difficult to hold any controlled possession for a period of time. This is one of the, the best phases of play that they've had in this first half. Rogan sends it over and James Trafford just plucks it from the air. Yeah, such confidence and presence James Trafford has in that England goal. So a minimum of four added minutes to come will be absolutely devastated to have conceded the goal, but can have really no arguments. It was a, a superb Serbian opening goal. 
But Trafford, along with, I would say, all 11 players so far in his first half for England, outstanding performance. Yeah, and England for a while now have been, been outstanding defence. Remember, they made three changes at the back today because various players are unavailable through injury. But James Trafford, 13th cap for the under-21s tonight. It's only the third goal that he's conceded. Yeah, yeah it's Ten a... clean sheets in 12 matches before today. Yeah, incredible. In at any level, that is an inc incredible statistics. And to, to be fair, I don't think there's a goalkeeper in the world who would have saved that shot from Lutic into Absolutely the top corner. Uh, bang in the face or in the eye there for Jaden Filigin, possibly. Rogan. Yellow card to Victor Rogan. And, Rogan, uh, yeah, he's having, a, he's having a difficult night against Filigin. I think it's the touch that just went beyond him and then he, he, he literally, he just holds Filigin off, struck, has struck him across the bridge of the nose. There it is, that right arm, flailing right arm. So Victor Rogan going into the book, plays for uh, Chukarecki. And some running repairs for Jaden Filigene. Well, it was that touch, he just manipulated the ball in behind the Serbian right back and then as his right arm flays across strikes Filigene across the nose. Uh, Rogan only had three minutes off the bench in the first match last month against uh, Azerbaijan. He's often a substitute for his club side as well, but uh, getting the start this evening. And uh, like the rest of the Serbia defenders, has had his hands full for much of the first half. Yeah, it's not been an easy evening for him. Filigene has been outstanding off of that left side for England. Just need to try and patch him up to get him through the next couple of minutes, and then they can deal with the nosebleed properly at half time. Yeah, it normally means that uh, the cotton wool is stuffed up that nose to try to stop the bleeding. You can't, you can't have any blood on your shirt, or you can't be bleeding. So he has to leave the field of play. I would be surprised if he he stays out for the the last few seconds of this first half. A deep and added time at the end of the opening half. What can England do here? It's uh, Rico Lewis who sent it in and it's thumped away by uh, the visiting defence. So, around a minute to go in added time at the end of the half. And Well, they are still patching yeah. up, Philogene. England, the man light, will just... Try to just keep possession, take the sting out of the game, run the clock down. Palmer in possession. You just get the feeling that, I mean, we've seen it tonight in the way that he's playing, but he's really uh, starting to settle, isn't he, at Chelsea, his new club. He came off the bench three times in a row for his first appearances in the league, but he started the last couple of games and uh, is really playing with a great deal of, of confidence and leading England's under-21s tonight. The throw-in taken by uh, Mita Ergilash. And then forward by Illich, collected in midfield here by Stefanovic. Challenged by Palmer, who's just pulled up there. Yeah, I'm not sure whether that was a, a whack on the thigh. Let's yeah, hope it I, was nothing more than that. I think it is just a, a dead leg. He's just been struck on that right thigh. Stefan Mitrovic now for Serbia. And off Rico Lewis. It ricochets behind. So Serbia will finish this first half on the front foot here with a corner. Yeah, and England still down to 10 men at this moment in time with the captain Palmer limping as well. Well, they haven't had too many set pieces or opportunities, Serbia, but this might just be one at the end of this first half. Yeah, it's the goal scorer, Lucic, who will take the corner. He's got uh, Ergilash up there with him. And they're anxious to just see it out. Cole Palmer still a little uncomfortable, but I think he'll be fine. One imagines this will be the last action of the opening half. Yeah, as England tried to get Philogene back in, the referee's not going to allow him to come on. He's saying that that nose is still bleeding. No, he's happy enough now. So, Jaden Philogene back on the pitch for the final few seconds before the break.
Gulash sends it over. And have really got it away. Big Miskiu, not once, but twice. Still in the possession of uh, Vazic, not for long. Filogin gets the ball away and Elliott sends it forward, looking for Madueki. Collected here by Rico Lewis, who looks as though he was fouled there by uh, Mihailo Ilic. Oh, there was a couple of challenges that the referee let go and plays continued. Advantage. Harvey Elliott finds De Lapp. Elliott on the follow-up, picks up the loose pieces, he's still going here, Harvey Elliott! Oh, what a way to finish the first half in style! 3-1 England! Well, I'm going to give the referee fabulous credit there for allowing a couple of challenges to go unpunished, advantage given, and in the end, England, with that advantage, take a 3-1 lead. Nothing more than they deserve after an absolutely sensational first-half performance. And Harvey Ella has had a couple of attempts, this time he gets it absolutely right. Rico Lewis was playing centre forward from the corner. All of a sudden, they break forward. Elliot picks it up on his favoured left foot, fires it into the top corner. Illich doesn't move. I'm, I'm not so sure he actually expected the shot, or he might not have even been able to see it, Simon. But what a first half from England's under 21s. That is what you call finishing the first half with a flourish. Wonderful play from Harvey Elliott to score six minutes into added time at the end of the first half. There's Lucic, he can't quite believe it. He gave Serbia the lead a little while ago. Three goals late in the first half. Jaden Filogene with the equaliser, Liam De Lapp on 42 minutes there. And then Harvey Elliott deep into added time at the end of the first half. At the break in Nottingham, at the city ground, it's England under 21s 3, Serbia under 21s 1. Okay, let's take a look at the highlights from the first half and a very eventful first half at the city ground it was as well as the ball was played forward early on here Jaden Filogene we'll see plenty of him in our highlights causing early problems for Serbia's defense that little deflection from the shot there good save from uh, Velko Ilic that inside the opening five minutes yeah it was a really bright start from England Filogene shot wickedly deflected and Ilic does superbly well to get fingertips to tip it over England with a golden opportunity to take the lead here, Charlie Cresswell. Well, he cannot believe that he hasn't headed that on target. A really good delivery from the England captain. Arrives in the six-yard box, powerful header, but for some reason off target. Another glorious England chance. Well, you said that he couldn't believe he hadn't scored. I think you couldn't believe it either, could you, Clive? It was a great opportunity, but Illich was busy in the early stages of the match. Look at this build-up here from England, the lovely little touch from Noni Madueki, not once but twice, and Rico Lewis across, and Jaden Filogene almost turning it home. Point-blank save from Illich. Well, a wonderful build-up play from England. Great ability, Madueki back heel, Elliot cuts the pass back to Madueki, toe to Rico Lewis, and then Filogene just can't keep the Lewis cross down, and it's a good save, an instinctive save from Illich to keep the score at zero. Well, England just kept for coming forward again and again, and Noni Madueki saw so much of the ball in the opening half an hour or so. That lovely little touch from him. All that was missing was the finishing touch. Yeah, he can't believe that he hasn't struck it on target. Hackney does well, feeds the ball wide, and then good into play with Madueki. The body swerve here is brilliant to create the angle but he just scuffs the shot the most important part the finish great England build-up disappointment from the finish and then against the run of play a real bolt from the blue bolt being the operative word as Serbia ventured forward Lucic number 11 keep your eye on him as this move continues to build up as the ball's played back in by Vazic Lucic was there how about that for a finish? Top corner, no chance for James Trafford. First time England have conceded a goal in eight matches. 
Yeah, and quite remarkable. It had to be a good goal, and it was fabulously taken by Lucic. They build up down the left, the ball cut back to him, but the quality of the side foot finish, absolutely superb. Well, that really put the cat among the pigeons because we hadn't seen a lot from uh, Serbia as an attacking force, but uh, England looking to respond almost immediately, winning the ball back here, Noni Madueki sending it forward, golden opportunity for De Lapp and Illich to the rescue once again, that was Madueki on the follow-up. Yeah, superb build-up, Elliot Madueki, and then he slides the ball brilliantly into the run of De Lapp. I think he tries to lift it over the keeper, he stays big, makes another good stop. So at this stage of proceedings, it had the potential to be a frustrating evening for England's youngsters. Well, they just had to continue in the vein that they started the game. And when the poor clearance from the keeper is picked up by Filiging, we talked about the quality of the finish from Serbia, but Filiging shows magnificent composure. It is a poor clearance, but he picks it up with still a lot to do. And as he goes past the defender, he has the ability to rifle it into the top corner. A brilliant response from England. Yeah, a poor mistake from the goalkeeper, but he paid a very heavy price indeed. That's an outstanding finish uh, from the England debutant, Jaden Philogene. 1-1, that goal coming in the 38th minute of the match. And England weren't finished there before the break, with uh, Madueki again leading... Mitar Ergilash, uh, a merry dance, Rico Lewis involved. Short, sharp passing from England there, lovely little flick from Rico Lewis. Look at the number of red shirts around, but still England found a way through. Palmer bringing the save. Philogene with the little cut back, and this time Liam de Lapp blasting it home for 2 1. Simon, I just love the confidence. That back heel from Mudueki, brilliant. Carl Palmer's strike. Parried by the keeper, kept alive by Philogene. And when a second chance presents itself to Dilap, he makes no mistake on this occasion, rifling it into the roof of the net. Nothing more than England deserved with his per first half performance. Hayden Hackney winning the ball back for England. Referee keen to try to allow the game to flow as much as possible. And that played out to England's advantage here. The ball only half cleared, collected by uh, Harvey Elliott, created the space for himself. And how about that for a finish? What a way to end the first half. Absolutely, last kick of the first half. A first half that's been absolutely exhilarating. Referee did really well in allowing play to continue after a couple of challenges. But Harvey Elliott, who's been really industrious, a superb finish. Half time, it's England three, Serbia one. So one thing to keep an eye on here early on, we saw that challenge coming from Marko Lazicic very early in the match on Jared Branthwaite, where he received the yellow card, studs up with that challenge. It already wasn't the first foul that he committed in the opening five minutes or so. No, he, he fouled the goalkeeper not long before that. That was the second one. But this, after being booked, this was a silly challenge. The way he kicks through the back of Lewis could easily have received a second yellow and a subsequent red. Yeah. Referee was lenient on that occasion. And they would have been down to 10 men. It's a difficult task. Let's have a little look at the statistics. 3-1 to England. 14 shots on goal, Clive, in that first half. 10 of them on target. Yeah, it's been a, a fantastic England performance. It really has some quality play to create those shots and 10 on target. Keeper has had to be very, very good to keep the score down but has conceded three. Yeah, 69% possession, but importantly, England have made that possession count. 3-1 the half-time score. Well, Jaden Philogene, uh, one, one of many players who's impressed in the first half, but he has played exceptionally well and uh, he scored England's equalising goal. Yeah, he scored the equalising goal, brilliantly taken. The thing that strikes me there, touches in the opposition box eight times. He's in Serbia's penalty box and he's got himself a goal and an assist. And there was a match uh, a little bit earlier on today. Uh, Ukraine, 3-0 winners at Luxembourg. That one's uh, finished uh, not very long ago. And Northern Ireland winning for the first time in the group as well today. 1-0 at Azerbaijan. So 
five of the six teams in the group have won at least one match so far. Azerbaijan are the only team without a victory. So there we are. It's been a terrific first half, much to enjoy. Four goals, do stay with us. The second half is coming up in just a few minutes' time. Welcome back to the City Ground as we're almost ready for the start of the second half. England, the current champions of this biennial competition, having beaten Spain 1-0 in this year's final. Much changed team for England. Only James Trafford, the goalkeeper, and Cole Palmer, the captain, remain from the starting eleven against Spain in the summer. But it's been business as usual for England's under-21s. Clive Allen alongside me. It's been a... A really enjoyable first half, some, some excellent football to, to uh, get our teeth into. Yeah, Simon, it's been a real pleasure the way they've gone about their game. There's been some outstanding performances, real confidence running throughout this under-21 group. Went behind, responded in, in a in magnificent way, filaging with the first. He's been really impressive, bright off the left for England. The lap lead in the line has scored his second in the competition now and rounded off by Harvey Elliott's third right on the stroke of half-time. Nothing more than England deserved at the, at the, um, in that first-half performance. Hopefully, much more of the same, please. Changes made at the break. Sven Jablonski from Germany is the referee. And it is Marco Lazatic who gets the second half underway. Serbia look for a route back into the match, but uh, could be a difficult second period for them at 3-1 down. Uh, they were leading until the 38th minute of the game, but uh, three late first-half goals from England have completely turned it around into the home side's favour. Well, I think they have to be really wary that if they, they try to press England high, the way that they've moved and passed the ball, they could easily be cut open with the quality that England have, have shown this evening. Well, this whole qualification stage determines the 15 teams who will join the hosts Slovakia at the finals in a couple of years' time in 2025. You've got nine group winners who go through and the three best runners-up also qualify. Uh, they work out the, run the runners-up not counting the results against any sixth-place teams in the bigger groups. Uh, the remaining six runners-up who don't make it straight away go into playoffs. That's 
three ties, they play home and away, and the three winners from those two leg ties advance to the finals. That's how we get our 16 for the uh, Euro Under-21 finals. Simon, I'm glad you had to explain that. That was brilliant. What I'm saying is that, you know, you don't necessarily just have to win the group because uh, England would be the strong favourites to win this, the section they're in, Group F, but for teams like Serbia, if they can perform strongly, there is st still the possibility of reaching the finals. As Rico Lewis sends it across field to Elliott, and now it's collected by Humphreys. Well, I think, Simon, as holders, there would only be one intention from Lee Carsley in this England group, and that is to, to win the group, win as many games, if not all of them, if they can, in the build-up to qualifying for the finals. Have to be considered one of the favourites, and certainly this performance is laying down a marker for me with this young group. Yeah, absolutely. Spain and Italy, both five-time champions in the competition. Germany and England on three wins each. Russia and the Netherlands too. Serbia have won it once, along with France, Czechia and Sweden. Branthwaite, happy to leave it to Hayden Hackney. Sent over to the far side by the, the deep-lying at the moment, Cole Palmer. Yeah, just the rotation of the, of the team in that first half was absolutely excellent, it really was like a painful collision with the advertising holding there for Noni Madueki on the far side. England have it back with the potential to cause some problems here for Serbia again as Madueki sends it across. Collected here by Elliott and that was glorious piece of improvisation it certainly was a man full of confidence after scoring the third right on the stroke of half time one back by Dilap Muduecki just hooks it into the box the control and the attempt is audacious it really is what a talented young man he is Harvey Elliott and he's starting the second half in a pretty similar vein to that in which he finished the first Cresswell across making sure he got there ahead of Lazatic. Mihailo Ilic wants the ball, the pass a little bit short, and Filigin almost stealing in. Yeah. Near to the penalty area, Rogan brings it away. Harvey Elliott led the charge, the press, Philogene nearly comes to collect again. A, a slightly awkward pass away by the goalkeeper. Serbia looking to try to make it a one-goal game, but tidied up by Hackney, the Middlesbrough midfielder. He's looked very accomplished in the heart of that England midfield. He's probably the one that hasn't moved dramatically in position, but that allows everybody around him to rotate, and that's worked really well. It's a disciplined role that Hackney's playing, and he's played it superbly. Yeah, I imagine particularly with all the interchangeability of many of the other players, Clive, you need someone who's just going to be prepared to be steady. Absolutely, stay central. You're the one who's the, who's uh, obviously the first line of defence again in front of the back four. And he's played the role well. He really has. Bashir Humphreys finds Branthwaite. Gives the ball away to Victor Rogan, sent forward here by Mihailo Stefanovic, and the shot some distance wide of the goal from Stefan Mitrovic. Well, he feeds the ball well into Mitrov Mitrovic's feet. As he comes in off that left-hand side, just gets a touch in front of Rico Lewis, but pulls the shot horribly wide. He's worth keeping an eye on, though, the number seven, Mitrovic. He plays for Red Star, uh, Silvana Zvezda. Two senior caps, including an appearance off the bench against Lithuania in a Euro qualifier last month. Here's Cole Palmer, who, well, you can see the evidence of that, that bang he received on the thigh late in the first half. Well, I'm he's not looking terribly comfortable, is he? No. Or happy? No, he's going to take the uh, the heavy strapping off now. But it, it seemed as if he had a dead leg from the the first half, and and after after that dead leg, 
has certainly had treatment at half time, but sometimes, Simon, that just stiffens up and you can't continue. You're hoping it's going to ease off, but the half time break, that right leg stiffening, Lee Carsley not going to take any chances with his England captain. So Tino Liveramento of Newcastle United comes on to replace Cole Palmer. Disappointing end for Palmer. Um, some really good moments from him in the first half, Clive. Some great deliveries into the penalty area. Yeah, I don't and hope it's nothing serious. I don't think it will be. Just seems to be a, a contact injury on that right thigh, but an opportunity for Liveramento on the right side. He's having an enjoyable time back fit now at Newcastle United. As the shot comes in, straight into the gloves of Trafford there from Alyosha Vazic. Yeah, just a couple of half chances at the beginning of this second period for Serbia. You mentioned uh, Livramento, you're right, Clive. It is just great to see him playing again, isn't it, these days? He missed quite a bit of time with uh, an ACL injury. Here comes Noni Madueki, looks for an opening, still looks and still, and here we are, it's 4-1. He was patient, and it was worth the wait. He looked and looked, and finally he noticed that the back door had been left ajar, and he saw the space, and he found it, and the ball is nestling in the back of Serbia's net. It is England who lead by four goals to one. Well, he's had a couple of chances earlier in this game but as the ball's fed wide from Lewis into Mudueki comes inside drops his shoulder once twice and then this time with the shooting opportunity drills it hard and low into the bottom corner the lopsided winger coming in on his favoured left foot and a brilliant finish through bodies but nothing more than he's deserved with his performance this evening this could be anything now, Simon, it really could. The way that England are playing, smiles on their faces, enjoying every moment of this game. And it's his uh, second goal for the under-21s. Coming on his 15th appearance. And nothing less than his performance deserves tonight. Absolutely. So, 4-1 England. And Serbia... So, struggling the longer this game goes on absolutely Simon in a very difficult position now the confidence flowing through this England group they have to be really disciplined now try to keep their shape try to frustrate England this is Charlie Cresswell in possession at the back now Branthwaite and Harvey Elliott dropping a bit deeper looking for Jaden Philogene Elliott's an absolute live wire it was it was him nodding the ball forward there as well well he played it forward and he followed it and won it back again for England unbelievable energy Lewis just sidestepping clear of Alyosha Vazic well, having fallen behind at one point during the first half, England in complete control of this game, uh, as they have been throughout, really, in terms of the general play. Oh, most certainly, yeah. They wasn't phased by going behind, stuck to their game plan. The way that they've controlled, moved the ball and interchanged has been breathtaking. This first touch there for Livramento. Madueki and Lewis combining. There's been a good understanding between those two on the right-hand side for England. Well, with Livramento coming in, he's gone into the right-back position. That's meant that Rico Lewis has now become a, a right-sided midfield player, but with great flexibility. What a lovely touch there from Jaden Philogene. Looks for an opportunity, trying to tee up the lap, and Lewis. That one coming off the outside of the boots. Well, I think he... Just got a little bit excited, did Rico Lewis. It was a brilliant touch from Philogene. And when the ball falls to Rico Lewis, he's just off balance. He can't strike on target. Just there, he's falling away, and in the end just scoops it way wide of the target.
Ball collected at the back by Rogan. Here now is Hayden Hackney. Great chance for Elliot. Big challenge, vital challenge from Luka Subotic. It was a good challenge, but it was brilliant work from Delap. He won the ball back. Hackney fed the ball into the run of Elliot. And in the end, Illich made a really good block. There's the challenge from Delap, picked up by Hackney, picks the run of Elliot. But again, Illich is across and has to be quickly to deny Elliot the chance to shoot. Layoff by Madueki back into Charlie Cresswell. England enjoying their first home match since lifting the Euro trophy in the summer. How about that for a turn there from Jaden Philogene? And that was a sturdy challenge from a frustrated Mihailo Illich right under the referee's nose, which results in a yellow card. Uh, it was quite brilliant the way that Philogene received the ball on the half turn, spinning away from the right back. But then Illich, a wild challenge, nowhere near playing the ball. Philogene just toes it away. That was a, an awful challenge. He's lucky just to receive a yellow for that. A couple of changes here, and uh, Alyosha Vazic making way. Igor Miladinovic on to replace him. And uh, Marko Lazatic off with uh, Milos Pantovic on to replace him. Well, I, I think that's just a, almost a, a protection move because they cannot afford to go down and be a player like Serbia. As Elliot sends the ball in and uh, Cresswell rising high. Maybe the chance for Serbia to break. Little flick into Madueke, 5-1. Wow, what a goal that was. Hackney retrieves the ball. Rico Lewis with a magnificent little touch into the path of Madueke. He assisted in Mudoweke's first goal. He's assisted again, Rico Lewis, with a deft touch that's given him the opportunity to side for England's fifth. This is breathtaking, it really is. Well, we were talking just a couple of minutes ago about the lovely combination play between those two on the England right, and we saw it here once again. Serbia potentially with the chance to break away initially with Stankovic losing possession. England countering immediately. Lewis with the little flick, Madueki with the finish. Oh, it's beautiful. Hackney driving forward, just rolls it into the path, but the awareness from Rico Lewis was superb. And then the finish clinical. Murueki helping himself to a second. Rico Lewis all smiles, assists for the second time. 5-1 England. And we've still got half an hour to go. We have, we have got half an hour to go. Which is not great news for Dusan Djordjevic and his team. Absolutely, not the way England are playing. If they can maintain this level, there's more goals here for them. Miladinovic getting involved. The uh, substitute here now is Mitrovic. And the shot wasn't a bad one. Through well, a sea of white-shirted England defenders, but rising over the crossbar all the time. Well, he has carried a little threat in his second half. Came off the left side with a right foot shot. This time off the right side. Fires with his left, but always rising. Doesn't trouble Trafford in the England goal. Simon, I've got to say, this is as good an hour under 21 football that I've seen for a very, very long time. Well, Ork as well, early on in a new campaign with a new look under 21 side. This, remember, early on the road to Slovakia, which is where the finals will be. This is a, a biennial tournament, the under 21 Euros. England have been in those finals 17 times. They've 
taken part in the finals. Three-time winners, 1982, 1984 and 2023. Here comes Philogene now into Harvey Elliott, and Elliott there was blocked off by Rogan. Rogan, remember, has already had his name taken for whacking Philogene in the face. Not sure what the contact was there. It certainly is worth another look. He is a player, as I mentioned, on a yellow card. Yeah, and again, he was he was yellow carded for his challenge on Philogene, picking up, um, striking him across the face. And on this occasion, you can see, I think Harvey Elliott knows he's, uh, the challenge is coming. Now, he just blocks him off. I think um, it would be harsh on him to receive a yellow card for that, but he has to be very, very careful now. And Serbia can ill afford to lose a player in the way that England are playing. He's happy. He never shows it, Lee's card. He's happier than he looks. Isn't he's he? very, very happy with his performance. I'm sure he is. Yeah, his expression doesn't change too much on the touchline, does it? Hayden Hackney, who's been really good for England. And that's an excellent pass. And Liam Delaps away. And Jaden Philogene is alongside him. And Philogene for number six. Brilliant. And who starts it once again? Hackney, Lewis, he plays the ball into the run of Delap. And then what I love about Delap is the awareness. He's going one on one with the goalkeeper. He knows Philogene is in the ball. And again, it's just sensational England football. It really is slick, it's incisive. The pass here from Rico Lewis into the run of Delap. But then Delap, he has a look, he knows Philogene's in support, and he rolls it beautifully into his path for England's sixth. I said it could be anything, Simon. This could go on this evening to be an emphatic England victory. Well, England's under-21s, the European champions, absolutely running away with it here in the second half. And two players now on hat-tricks as well. There's going to be a competition <laughs> to see who could score an England hat-trick in this under-21 campaign. Yeah, Noni Madueki there of Chelsea. He's on a hat-trick, as is Jaden Philogene of Hull City. England still three goals short of their record number of goals in a match. Biggest win was 9-0. That was against San Marino uh, a decade ago. Still some way short of that. But 25 minutes to go. It's a pulsating performance from England's under-21s. Really tough night for Serbia. The return match, by the way, between these two is uh, a month away. Well, it's a Serbia team that won't want that game to come too soon, that's for sure. They're going to have to regroup. Nutmeg there by Pilagin, he's on his team of throw-in as well. Yeah, with Serbia tonight and Ukraine away on Monday, England facing two of the toughest matchups early on in the group and uh, Serbia away next month as well. So success in these games could almost secure qualification very early on in the process, to be honest. Yeah, it makes it a, a, a obviously... It's never an easy campaign, but certainly they're, they're going about it in the right way tonight. England on the attack now with Madueke. He's got some support. White shirts in the box. And Philogene going for what would have been a spectacular goal. <laughs> the most spectacular hat-trick. I think if he wants the hat-trick, he might need to get another chance quickly because uh, I think there's a... Fair, a fair chance that he will be taken off shortly. England getting ready to make some changes. Here's Mitrovic and it's blocked by Bashir Humphreys. Well, Philogene there going all out for the hat-trick and going for it in the most memorable way. Yeah, it's a good move. Hackney crosses from the right, just lifts it to the back post and he's trying that spectacular overhead kick. So, uh, Nikola Stankovic going off. And Jovan Lukic on to replace him. Jovan Lukic, central midfield player, who plays for Spartak Subotica. From, he signed from Lask, the Austrian side, uh, last month.
Ball collected in midfield by Mihailo Stevanovic. Well, you just wonder if Lee Carsley will just give one or two other players the opportunity now with the uh, spectacular performance that England have put in. If you're sitting on the bench, Simon, there's nothing more than you wanting to get and come into a team that have playing with such confidence. And for these substitutes now, what an opportunity. Well, it's not about to get any easier for Serbia with the likes of Jamie Bino Gittins getting ready to come on, the Borussia Dortmund player. More on that in a moment because Serbia venturing forward here. It's become a damage limitation exercise as well, as best as possible, if that is, in fact, uh, something that you can do when you're already 6-1 down. But good play in midfield, collected by Miladinovic. But it's back with Elliott, who finds Humphreys with space and a little time in possession to bring the ball over the halfway line. Filogene on the near side, Madueki over on the England right, being chased again by Mitar Ergilash. Madueki, what a, what a lively handful he has proven to be. Liveramento back into Madueki, in towards uh, Rico Lewis making the run deep inside the penalty area. It'll be a corner. Well, there's nowhere that this young man can't play tonight. He started on the right, ended up in midfield, was advanced in a number of positions to create two goals for Mudueki. A wonderful Rico Lewis performance as well. Plenty of changes afoot for England. Uh, Liam Delap, the first player to go off. Jonathan Rowe will be on to replace him, the Norwich City player. Jonathan Rowe, who's scored seven goals already this season. Delap among the goal scorers tonight. And there, Jaden Philogene, two goals on his under 21 debut, replaced by. James McAtee. A little bit of a flare up there as uh, Madueki makes his way to the far side. Yeah, he has to go off at, at, at the nearest point and he's on the right side. He didn't want to walk all the way round, but the performance he's put in, he's going to enjoy that long walk round. The applause of the crowd as he. Oh, those young men, will be, those young chaps will be very, very happy receiving his shirt. And uh, there we see uh, Jamie Bino Gittins and Rowe, the forward from Norwich. Bino Gittins, the European under-19 winner in 2022, as England on the front foot, the header from Cresswell. Not quite going underneath the body of uh, Velko Ilic. And another chance, Cresswell powers the header down, keeper in the end just manages to smother it and keep it underneath him a little over 20 minutes remaining we're just over three quarters of the way through the match well sometimes it just disrupts the flow of the game with the number of substitutions being made important that England continue in the same vein intensity to their game moving the ball very very quickly in style in which they have in this in this 70 minute period Milodinovic with a little layoff collected here by Stefan Mitrovic just trying to take some of the sting out of this second half settle the game down a little bit Certainly does disrupt the rhythm, though, doesn't it? So many changes. Yes, it does. And England changing their their two of their front three. Certainly can do that, though, with uh, Ukraine on Monday on the road. That match being played in uh, Slovakia. Well, Serbia in no hurry to get on with the game, as you can understand. They're just trying to run this clock down. They are in a, a damage limitation situation now. Well, collected by Lu Lucic, who scored their goal in the first half, which put Serbia ahead. Mitrovic and the offside flag. 
goes up against uh, Stefan Mitrovic. Yeah, that's poor for Mitrovic looking across the field. Shouldn't have wandered into that offside position as the diagonal ball comes to him. Quiet second period for James Trafford in the England goal. Here's Bashir Humphreys. Touch from Elliot. Illich finding Rogan. Aidan Hackney initially winning it back. Harvey Elliott sending it forward. And here now is James McAtee. Illich gets a foot to it. And Mihailo Illich able to clear his lines and get it to the halfway line but England come roaring back and what a pass that was from Harvey Elliott to put McAtee in Elliott in possession again you're not going to ask me for a man of the match are you well I think we just put several names into a hat wouldn't we and absolutely draw it out Layoff by Livramento on the far side. Well, as you can see, in total control, confidence, belief in the way that they've achieved what has been an outstanding lead. And here come England again. It was Rico Lewis and Jamie Bino Gittins. You'll keep this in as well. Rowe waits in the middle. Bino Gittins, that was absolutely sensational. But Serbia survive. Well, it's a brilliant shoe shuffle on the touchline. It really was on the byline to nearly give himself the opportunity to score after just being introduced as a substitute. So I say, you come into this game as a substitute, you, you're, you're desperate to impress, you know that everything's flowing, everything's working for your team, and you're, you're, you've, you're almost given licence to try to impress in, in the way that Bruno Gittins did in that, in that uh, attempt. Yeah, it's real exhibition stuff, isn't it, at times? Humphreys losing out on this occasion, and collected briefly by Milos Prantovic. Here's Mitrovic. I do like the way England have gone about winning back possession as well when they have turned it over. They haven't turned the ball over too often in the game tonight, but when they have, they're very, very quick to go and look to win it back. Serbia with another game on uh, Monday as well. They're playing away to Northern Ireland who enjoyed their first win in the group today. They beat Azerbaijan, one win from three matches, two defeats for Northern Ireland. But they will host Serbia in their next game on Monday. Charlie Cresswell. Branthwaite back into Trafford. Gerald Kwanza getting ready to come on potentially for England. Another substitution on the horizon. Lovely little layoff into Livramento. Harvey Elliott collects. Important block there made by Luka Supertic. It's an England throw. Yeah, but again, Elliott really instrumental. The forward pass initially set England on their way. Then he gets himself forward to the edge of the box. Bino Gittins in possession. The Dortmund player bringing Cresswell into the game and Elliott has had such a pivotal role for England this evening. 15 minutes remaining at the city ground. Rico Lewis looking for Bino Gittins, who's challenged by Mihailo Ilic. He's already looked very bright in the opening few minutes that he's been on the pitch. Another change coming up for the home team. Let's have a look at this bit of skill, though, from uh, Bino Gittins. Well, it looks as if he can't go anywhere, but the little shoe shuffle on the byline, brilliant 
and then he just tries to tow it into the path of Rico Lewis. Gerald Quanza of Liverpool coming on at the back for England, number 16. The player going off there just a few moments ago, their confirmation. Jared Branthwaite of Everton going off. So uh, Quanza on. The latest change made by Lee Carsley. Quanza making his under 21 debut, the 20 year old defender. Made three appearances in the Premier League so far this season for Liverpool. He's played all the way through England from under 15 to under 21 level so far. Every single one of those steps on the ladder. Well, with Premier League experience playing for Liverpool, you can see how Harvey Elliott has progressed and Quonsa looks to be a, another young talent off of the uh, Liverpool production line. Cresswell, and here is Quanza. Been looking to try and venture forward, ball breaking loose on the halfway line. Sturdy challenge by Supertic, needed to be, and Mihailo Stevanovic just gets it out of the congested middle third of the field. Serbia still plugging away Lucic the scorer of their goal surrounded out hustled out maneuvered and here's McAtee one of England's substitutes brought to ground free kick for the challenge made by Mita Ergalash yeah Ergalash great feat from McAtee again showing real confidence since coming into the game picks the ball up drives forward and Ergalash tackling from behind might well have got some of the ball but catches his right ankle He's not been on the field that long, James uh, McAtee. He's at Sheffield United this season in the Premier League in England on loan from Manchester City. Had 13 minutes against Luxembourg last month, similar amount of time, maybe a little bit longer tonight in this second qualification match. England's first at home since lifting the Euro trophy in the summer. Charlie Cresswell. Elliot. Quanza. Elliot with the time to have a little look around and the skill and the vision to pick out Bino Gittins who might fancy a little go at goal here and indeed he does. Yeah, it was a great diagonal ball to Bino Gittins. He showed lots of confidence since being introduced. This time cuts in onto his right foot, just tries to wind that ball into the far corner. A clever attempt. Couple of changes uh, coming up for Serbia. There we are, Nikola Jojic, who's at uh, Stoke City in the Championship, is going to come on. As is Alexa Matic as well. I'll keep an eye on that for you. Rico Lewis, who's now enjoying himself on the left-hand side for England. He's, he's had a little go everywhere tonight, hasn't he, Clive? There's nowhere he hasn't been absolutely incredible performance and wherever he finds himself on the pitch he, he looks does equally adept wherever he plays exactly simon absolutely superb I, I would imagine he could probably play in goal as well he's not the biggest but he could probably play in goal the young man he's been brilliant collected by hackney this now is humphreys to think about playing the ball to Bano Gittins on the near side. No, just control, controlled possession of the ball. Last 10 minutes of the game, and what a match it's been for the people who've made the journey to the city ground for this one tonight. Six England goals and 
several near misses and two or three great saves as well from Serbia's goalkeeper. Six in it may well have been more. It could have easily have been far more. And the quality of the play has been nothing short of exhilarating for me, this young England group. Yeah, completely controlling the ball at the moment here. Serbia left chasing shadows. Harvey Elliott might not be finished yet. As he tries to feed it forward. He was looking for McAtee. And bringing the ball away is uh, Pantovic, not for long. Backing each other up well, England's players. That was uh, Rowe, Jonathan Rowe coming back. Yeah, that was superb from Rowe. The ball was turned over. Harley Elliott, Harvey Elliott's pass went astray. Rowe regained possession for England. And now Clive is furthest forward. Is in front of Bino Gittins. It's still Bino Gittins trying to create the opportunity and have a go himself. And the opportunity to clear for Igor Miladinovic. And finally for Ergelash. And once more, it's with uh, Miladinovic. As Serbia venture forward for the first time in quite a while with Mitrovic. It's excellent play until the final moment when he was unable to get the shot in. Charlie Cresswell, I think it was, who made sure of that. Cresswell and Hackney, I think, were the two that just closed off the half chance for Serbia. They come once more with Mitrovic, a little layoff into Milos Pantovic, but yet again, it's that man, England's number two, Rico Lewis, who sets them into forward motion, and Harvey Elliott is there to help out. This is McAtee, Bino Gittins waits in the middle, Rowe is up there in the box as well. It's into Rowe, who almost flicked it in at the near post. Well, what a goal that would have been from one end of the field to the other. And McAtee feeds the ball into Rowe. It's a really clever attempt at the near post, trying to drag it back inside the goalkeeper. So Alexa Matic is going to come on. Double change here. Mihailo Stevanovic going off to be replaced by Alexa Matic, the midfielder. Matic of uh, Vozdovac, defensive midfield player and the goal scorer, Vladimir Lucic. Wonderful strike from him. Uh, Nikola Jojic on to replace him for his under-21 debut, the Stoke City player. Well, I think he's running down the clock, just trying to introduce fresh legs, just to thwart the flow of this England incessant attack after attack. Here's Gerald Kwanza. Six minutes to go, plus added time. Serbia won't be wanting too much to be added by the uh, German officials, I'm sure, at the end of this one. First touch of the ball for Jojic. Almost losing his way. The other substitute, Matic, there with the first touch. Here he is. Rogan. Tidy touch from Igor Miladinovic. I'm going to try to win the ball back, and there's a handball in there, I think. It was from the substitute, Matic. Yeah, I think he just fell on the ball and handled it. Second appearance for him, having made his debut against Azerbaijan. 2 0 winners last month, Serbia in that game against Azerbaijan. Haven't been to the Euro finals at under 21 level since. 2019 Serbia, they lost all three group stages on that occasion, haven't qualified for the last two finals. Well, I'm sure they'll feel confident of, of trying to get out of this group, Simon, but when you see the level, the bar that England have set with their quality tonight, they know that it's going to be a, a, a very, very difficult task to, to win this group. England Rowe with looks... a little touch into Rico Lewis, is collected here by Elliot off the top of the crossbar. Wow. So close to a magnificent number seven. Yeah, and again, it's that man, Lewis, that just feeds Harvey Elliott, tries to strike with his right foot. Again, the interplay, the turn for Rico Lewis and the awareness, the strike just clipping the top of the crossbar. 
Rico Lewis could have had a, another assist. It has been quite breathtaking. And Harvey Elliott could have added to the one he's already got. And he might Elliott, well now. Yeah, Elliott still venturing forward here. Plenty of support. Here's Rowe with a little layoff by No Gittins. Still finds it at his feet. And Serbia can't get the ball away. And it squirts over the line. It'll go down as an own goal. It's 7-1 to England's under-21s. Yeah, it's unfortunate for Serbia, and it's the left-back, Igalis, who it's eventually gone off. Maybe Subotic, there's a number of red shirts in front of the goalkeeper. They're dispirited. They really have had a torrid evening. Harvey Elliott. The opportunity, they can't quite clear their lines. Yeah, and it, it comes was, off as of Yeah, it was Ergalash who played the ball against Subotic. So, uh, misfortune there for Serbia. And despite the despairing dive of Ilic, he just couldn't pull the ball away before it had crossed the line. So, a uh, bit of bad luck there for Serbia's defence in the latter stages for 7 1 in the 87th minute of the game. What a night in Nottingham as the shot skids wide of the foot of James Trafford's post. Yeah, the attempt more in hope than anything else, really. Well, what a night and what a way to sort of um, set out your intentions for this uh, defence of the trophy. Absolutely. Simon, mean, they've laid down a, a tremendous marker of England. There's been some, I think, quite breathtaking performances, none more so than this young man, Rico Lewis. Not done yet, Rico Lewis in possession, and for once, but the pass is poor, for once his pass was poor, but England have it back once more. It's uh, laid off here to Elliot and headed in by Rowe. Well, that is brilliant work from Harvey Elliott. The run to go round the back of McAtee was quite superb, and then the delivery was there for Rowe. If you're a striker coming in to this game, you think you're going to get a chance. Rowe, the substitute, helps himself to an under-21 goal. Elliott's work was magnificent down that right-hand side. On his debut as well, Jonathan Rowe. He scored seven goals so far this season for Norwich City. Six in 11 in the championship, but here he is in the white shirt of England. But watch the run of Elliott round the back of McAtee. Lovely delivery, easiest of finishes for Rowe but he will never, ever forget that, his first goal for the under-21s. And no flag raised on the far side for offside. Well, he's been scoring for Norwich, and he's now scored for England under-21s. Well, that's not a good sign, is it? The man wearing the armband, leading from the front in every sense of the word. Harvey Elliott, he, he's been outstanding in, in this match tonight, but does appear to have got a bang on the knee right at the closing stages of the game. Yeah, a really breathtaking performance from England in front of nearly 15,000 supporters here at the city ground. I think it's fair to say they've had their money's worth, Clive, tonight. And I tell you what, these youngsters will remember many of these young England players' names going forward. Well, this is the thing, isn't it? England's under-21s, they don't have a permanent base. That's the whole idea of it, that they travel around the country, taking these games all over the place, so that uh, youngsters in particular uh, around England can watch them play and be inspired. Yeah, and Harvey Elliott, he has gone off. I'm not so sure he might... He, he looks as if he wants to continue. But he would be in that bowl of potential um, players of the match, certainly. He's in your player, players of the match hat, is he? Yeah. There's he, along with there, about half the other England there, players. There's 14 other England <laughs> players. I tell you what, if I was playing as well as Harvey Elliott, I wouldn't want to come off, and he's back on the pitch, and he's got the ball at his feet, and he's scored! Wow! Harvey Elliott! What a way to finish the match! It's 9-1! England's under-21s have never scored more than nine in a match, and Harvey Elliott, with the last kick of the first half, made it 3-1, and with not far off the last kick of the game in the second, makes it 9-1. Well, that might just have edged it for him, Simon. And again, he comes 
on from the top of your screen, pinches the ball, but then has the awareness to drive forward and with that right foot, thunders it past the goalkeeper, Illich. What a night for Harvey Elliott. And we he's want up. 10, cry the crowd. We want 10, and Harvey Elliott is the only player on the field that can now score a hat-trick. And what would be a record-breaking goal for England yeah, under-21s? Absolutely it would. So uh, I don't think anyone is going to be leaving this match early. 9-1 England in added time as they look for a record-breaking number 10. Still three minutes. Well, we're already nearly two minutes into those three as the shot comes in. It's a pretty wild one from uh, Lukic. The Serbia's players will just want to get off the pitch and put the match behind them and get ready for Northern Ireland on Monday. England travel to face Ukraine, that's in Slovakia on Monday. But what a night at the city ground and what a performance from the young Lions from England, the new look under 21s European champions in the summer and goodness me they are up and running in this qualification for the next championships already with a breathtaking performance this their first home match since lifting the trophy in the summer remember only two of those who started against Spain for Lee Carsley's team started this match tonight yeah, a quite incredible England performance. It really has been so many magnificent performances individually, but collectively. And they're not done yet by no Gittins chases. It's cleared away by Rogan. Seconds remaining for England to try to get into double figures. Who'd have thought that against a team like Serbia? The goalkeeper down on the ground. There goes the final whistle. What a match, what a night. What a performance from England's under-21s. Two goals for Philogene, two for Madueki, two for Elliott, one for Delap, one for Rowe, and a Subotic own goal, stunning from start to finish. Absolutely breathtaking. A quite magnificent Lee Carsley under-21 squad. They've laid down a marker as holders of this competition. Moving forward, there's some exceptional England talent we've seen this evening well unfortunately a painful end there for Serbia's goalkeeper England's biggest ever win 9-0 against San Marino in November 2013 well they've matched the number of goals tonight they have put nine past Serbia in Group F it has finished at the city ground England under 21 9 Serbia under 21 1